Congratulations on the upcoming birth of your baby. The staff at Vancouver Coastal Health welcome you to the Seashelt Hospital. This is the main entrance of the hospital, open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please come on in. This is the main registration desk at the Seashelt Hospital, and this is where you'll come to register um, to go up to maternity or to go for a scheduled C-section, right here at this desk. Here is the secondary entrance into the Seashelt Hospital. This is in through the ER department, and this entryway is open from 4 p.m. until 7 a.m. I just wanted to alert you to the fact that there is a special doorbell to be used after hours at this entrance when the doors may be locked. This is the doorbell right here and if you press this button then the staff inside will open the doors for you and let you in. Come on in. Once you find yourself in the tower lobby of the Seashelt Hospital you'll notice that there are stairs that go up to the maternity unit here and there is a beautiful Wheatberries Bakery and beside it a gift shop and right beyond the gift shop are the two elevators that will take you up to the third floor as well if you prefer to take the elevator. Now that you've accessed the third floor either by the elevators or by walking up the stairs you'll find a hand sanitizer station upon entry and we just ask that you take some hand sanitizer and wipe until it is dry as you access maternity via the third floor. Once you're off the elevator you're going to be walking down the hallway along the bank of windows um, into this third floor area off of which maternity is found. Initially the first time you come in the doors are locked so you'll have to ring the doorbell here for a nurse to open them up for you. Once you're registered here they'll provide you with a prox card which you can swipe over this brown box and enter the unit yourself. Welcome to the Seashell Hospital Maternity Unit. This is a beautiful new unit with four maternity beds. I'm standing right now in front of the nursing station, which is what you'll see when you first enter the unit. Infection control is so important here at the Seashelt Hospital and we invite you to wash your hands upon entry to the maternity unit. You'll see this sink right away on your left hand side and it is an automatic uh, watering sink with soap and hand cream and paper towel and just reminding you that good hand washing involves vigorous scrubbing for 20 seconds. This is the family room on the maternity unit. It's found at the very back of the maternity unit, overlooking the back parking lot and the inlet and also the helipad out behind us, which is used for transfers out of our hospital and into the city. This is a room that can be used by family members who are here to support a laboring woman. It has a little fridge, it has a dining room table, comfortable chairs and a TV. When infection control practices allow for family members to be with you in the hospital, this is a place that you can ask your family members to wait if you don't want them with you in your room. And the nurses are happy to help you um, with setting those boundaries if, if you need some help with that. It gives me great pleasure to take a moment now to just thank all of the donors who have so generously contributed to the exceptional maternity department at the Seashell Hospital. Having worked across North America and internationally, I can sincerely say that a beautiful space has been created here at the Seashell Hospital for women having their babies. It is exceptional and unique. And women who've come here to have their babies tell us through a formal maternal satisfaction survey how wonderful the space has been for their birthing experience. The state-of-the-art equipment and the beautifully furnished rooms all thanks to our generous community through donations to the Seashelt Hospital Foundation and purchases at the local auxiliary thrift and gift shops contribute together to create an exceptional space. All gifts make a difference and we thank all of the donors for their generous contributions. Welcome to our maternity room. This is the room that you'll come when you're in labor. This is also the room you'll stay in the entirety of your stay um, until you get discharged. You will be here even if you have a cesarean section, you will still come back up to the same room and stay here until you leave with your baby. This is the bed that you'll be on when you're in labor if you choose to be in a bed, um, as well as this is the external monitoring system that we might use when you're in labor. Um, your nurse or your provider will use this to find the baby's heart rate or they might use a fetal Doppler. Here we have the Entinox or laughing gas. 
This is easily accessed to your bed, so we just pull it over here if you're in bed. We also have a portable Entinox if you're wanting to move and get up and walk or be in the bath, so we can take one with us. On the bed here, this is the call bell, so you use that to call your nurse if you need anything. The bed goes up and down. Um, the buttons are here on the inside for you to use. Um, it can also break in half, so if we need to break the bed in half during your labor, um, there's uh, stirrups for your legs and the bed can be broken. In your labor video, you saw someone using a birthing bar. Um, just so you know, we have one um, for every single room. This is the bed that you, um, if you have someone with you um, for your stay, they can sleep on here for your partner. It does go flat. Um, we do suggest if you have a specific pillow or blanket that you like, um, you can bring them in for your stay as the hospital pillows, maybe not quite as good as the ones you have at home. Here we have a special light system. The provider and nurse may use this after your delivery um, so that they can see better and they have this wand to help direct the lights. This is a really cool sink that you can use. You can use your knee to flick it to the side and off um, and soap here. So here we are in um, the bathroom. We have an awesome big bathroom in every room. There's an emergency call bell here to the right of the toilet as well as on the other side of the bathtub. We encourage you to bring your own towels if you have a favorite towel at home. The hospital towels are on the smaller side. Um, we also encourage you, if, if you'd like to, to labor in the bathtub. We have an awesome big bathtub. Your partner is more than welcome to join them. We just ask that they bring a bathing suit if they would like to join you in the bath. This is the panda, we call it. Um, this is the infant warmer. Um, this is where your baby will be moved if they need a little bit of help after delivery, a little bit of oxygen. 90% uh, of deliveries, babies end up right on mom's chest and they can stay there uh, for the postpartum period. About 10% of deliveries, your baby may end up on this machine here. This is where baby will get a little bit of oxygen help. All the medications that they need are all here. It's really nice because it's right next to the bed where your you're laboring and postpartum so your baby's right next to you even if it isn't directly on your chest after delivery. This is the bassinet. There's one in every room um, for your baby after delivery. Um, it includes everything you need to change your baby um, and your baby's diaper. Um, so you don't need to bring diapers or wipes to the hospital or any sort of baby uh, shampoo. We also have a teaching brochure that we go through every patient before they're discharged and that um, includes lots of information that public health will also speak with you about um, that you can take home with you for future reference. Over here we have the delivery cart. Um, this is what your nurse will set up before delivery. Um, it includes everything that's needed for the baby's delivery um, so that the nurse doesn't have to leave the room. Um, so you will see this set up before you have your baby. This is the cupboard that's in every single room. It has all the supplies you need for your stay at the hospital. Of course, your nurse can help you find whatever you need and get for you what you need. The cool thing about this unit is that it's actually stocked from the outside in the hallway. For infection control reasons, no one's actually coming into your room to stock it. Um, so just make sure your doors are closed or else they'll be able to see into your room. Here we have a birthing ball. Um, we have one on the unit. It's nice and clean and ready for use. Um, you don't have to bring one from home if you choose to labor with one. So we also have this peanut ball. Um, if you choose to labor with it, it's really good for when you're on your side in bed. It just helps um, support your legs. So in the event of a really high volume of maternity patients, it doesn't happen often, but it, it has happened in the past where we've had to have two postpartum family units um, sharing the same room. So what would happen is we'd have one family unit here um, and then a barrier set up between them and this would all be cleared out and a second family unit over here uh, just for your postpartum stay. When you come into the maternity unit uh, for your postpartum period, you will have these supplies in the bathroom. It includes a variety of pads, um, some underwear, which you can take home with you, and of course a peri bottle, which the nurse will help you uh, learn how to use, and that can also go home with you. When you arrive for your C-section, you'll be brought to what is actually our recovery room, but this will be the area where you get admitted into a bed that looks much like this with a monitor uh, that the nurse will use to take your vital signs. You'll have an OR nurse assigned to you who will go through the checklist, when you last ate, do you have any allergies, 
all those sorts of questions, just routine. Um, your partner uh, can be here with you at this time and you will have an IV started um, in one of your hands usually or your arms. Um, sometimes, usually the anesthetist will come out and chat with you as well, say hi. Sometimes the surgeon will as well if he's here on time. You'll stay in this spot until the nurses on the inside of the OR are ready and then they will come and get you. And at that time, we will ask that your partner um, goes and gets changed into OR scrubs. And that person will be brought back into the room after your spinal um, anesthetic has been um, put in and you're ready to go. Then we will get your partner and bring them in the room. There are two ways that you'll arrive for your C-section, either scheduled or unscheduled. A scheduled C-section will start in that PAR room um, that we looked at. If you're unscheduled, you'll come down with your team from the obstetrical department, down the elevator, down through this hallway, and through the doors of the operating room. And your partner, um, at, if you're unscheduled, your partner will be asked to get changed at that point um, and we'll wait in here until they're ready to um, come into the OR. So when the team is all ready, you'll be brought into the room. So let's just have a look around. This is the OR bed. So the nurses will help you get onto this. And if you're gonna be laying on your back, you'll notice that the nurse will put a wedge um, so that you're tilted a bit. If you arrive for a scheduled C-section, you don't have anesthetic yet. We will most likely have you sit at the side of the bed with your feet on a chair and a table in front of you with a pillow on top and the anesthetist and the nurse will lead you through how to arch your back in preparation for getting your spinal anesthetic. Most cases that takes 10 to 15 minutes. Um, to get that process done and then they'll have you lie down right away and you will see a bunch of people around you'll see a scrub nurse over at this back table which will have the instruments on it um, and she'll be all gowned up or he will be all gowned up mask you'll notice that all the nurses uh, now wear eye protection so that's perfectly normal um, and then you'll be covered up with drapes and the drape will come across sort of at, at just a, bit, a little bit lower than your neck and so that you won't actually be able to see anything. Um, your partner will, this chair will then become your partner's chair and they'll be sitting here right at your bedside and they are able to have a boo. In most cases, the um, doctor will hold the baby up to meet you the minute it's born uh, and you can take pictures and that sort of thing. Once your baby is born, he or she will be handed over to the obstetrical team, which will include a physician or midwife and an obstetrics nurse. And those two people are dedicated to the care of your newborn, which occurs on this panda, which is very similar to the ones that are upstairs in the room. Um, they will do a, an assessment of your new baby and they will invite the partner to come over and cut the cord if that is desired and then they will bundle baby up and bring him or her back to you guys for some skin on skin time at the head of the bed and this will most likely be where the baby um, stays with you guys while the surgeon finishes your surgery. Once your um, surgery is complete, you'll be escorted out of the operating room by the anesthetist and the circulating nurse with your baby and your partner. You'll be brought into the recovery room. You will be on an OB bed, but you'll be put into one of our recovery room slots here. You'll be hooked back up to the monitors and the nurse will do vital signs every 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, the baby can be with you the whole time. We really encourage skin to skin, um, so we try not to separate you from your baby but the nurse will be asking you questions around and checking your incision 
Um, she'll be asking questions around how you are you able to move your legs, wiggle your toes, lift your knees off the bed. Um, usually you stay in the recovery room for about 45 minutes to an hour um, or until you can lift your knees off um, the bed and then you would go back up to your room in obstetrics. Here we are down the hall from physio department and the laboratory. Um, the physio department is where you can borrow for free um, one of two TENS machines for pain relief and labor if that interests you and you need only to call the hospital at 885-2224 and ask for the physio department to see about uh, requesting one of those loaners. And then as well, the lab down the hall would be something you'd want to know the location of in case you did leave the hospital prior to 24 hours after having your baby because there's a special test that needs to be done and this would be the place you would come back into the hospital to have that test done. If you stay in the hospital past the 24-hour mark, that test will be done for you on maternity.